Okay. Uh, so y'all bear with me on this video because I am no gun expert. Um, <laughs> y'all know doing bag videos and planner videos are my thing. I thought that I had wrote down the two subscribers names that had asked me to do this video and it's funny because they asked me like or at least I saw the comment like the very next day after I thought you know what that might be a cool idea for me to do that just for those who might be interested or you know who want to see an extra video on these specific things so apparently at some point that was an epic fail I did not write down those two people names on the sheet where I write like requested videos so sorry about that ladies but I do still want to go ahead and get this video done um, and show you guys what I'm currently using, why I switched, what holsters work for me, um, all that fun stuff. So we'll start with the holsters first. This way, if those you know people who don't actually care about the gun itself, why do my hands feel so ashy? Um, if they don't care about the gun itself, they can just kind of you know exit stage left. So first, I tried, and I should have pulled those out, but I really didn't feel like it because I've been trying to figure out what to do with them anyway. First, I tried those in waistband holsters. That's like um like this one so it's like this um it comes with the clip already on it i removed my clip there were two screws right here and i removed it because i just wanted this kydex holster with the trigger protector for sky nine um but i tried like not this specific one in my pants i bought this specific one for in my purse but i tried holsters like this for inside my pants and it just did not work it either flipped or it was printing a lot um you could see the shape of the holster it just did not oh, sorry y'all my back is itching it just didn't work well for me so um while kind of playing with other holsters and figuring out what to do i had came up with the idea of purchasing this one off amazon um and i'm pretty sure this one's linked to my storefront but if you don't have a sky cpx2 you won't want this exact holster because of course it's made for it specifically um but I purchased, and this is completely unloaded, you guys. Like, there's no, there's no ammo in the magazine. Um, there's nothing in the wheel well. Let me see if I can lock this back. I haven't messed with this one in quite a couple months. Ugh, this one's hard. Okay, and it is completely empty. You can see my face straight through it. So this is completely unloaded and safe. Um, so this holster was just for my purse. Um, but you can purchase these specific like Kydex holsters for you to put in your pants or um, on your pants, on your bag, however you choose to carry. Of course, for me personally, um, I feel like on body carry is safer because there may be plenty of times that you are away from your purse and you are attacked and you can't be like, hold on, let me go get my purse. Or um, if someone is choosing to steal your purse and they grab your purse, you have no weapons to prepare your, to, um, you know, protect yourself. Um, not to mention they're stealing not only all of your credit cards and debit cards and all your important stuff, your ID and stuff, they're also stealing your weapon, which you now, one, are responsible for anything they do with that um, if you don't report it fast enough. And then two, you have to purchase another one. So anyway, I think on body carry is better and safer, especially for women with everything that's going on in the world. So anyway, um, so this holster is essentially for you to wear on body but if you take the clip off you can diy use it like i was which is putting sky nine in here um can't even hold this thing <laughs> and being able to place this inside of um any of your bags so that you know you cannot accidentally tr pull the trigger it's completely protected right here um so this is the gun that i purchased first a year ago last year october 2021 um i purchased this gun as my first weapon of choice i have shot m16 nine millimeters 380s while i was in the military um but i never owned an actual weapon so um I decided to purchase this one first, of course, because she's purple. Um, I started watching a lot of videos on her, on other guns, on holsters, on women shooting, you name it, I was watching it. Um, but of course I had already purchased her, so my job was to learn her and use her, not purchase another firearm. Um, and so I was learning to use the, the red dot, I was learning on, you know, um, trigger safety, how to hold her, how to shoot her, practicing at the range, shooting her, all of that. Um, but there were a couple things that I didn't like about her. So I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes because I know you guys are like, Layla, get to the holsters. Okay, so this kind of holster did not work for me on body, but it worked in my purse. 
This is what I ended up purchasing and wearing for the last year. This is called a um, hip hugger. It's basically, instead of like a belly band that goes across your stomach, this of course grows, goes across your lower waist or your hips. Now, depending on what size you order, if you want to wear it up higher, you could. I have seen that done in some videos. It didn't work for me. My stomach is much smaller than my hips, so it didn't work for me. But essentially, it has this eyelet closure, kind of like a bra. Um, it has this anti-slip lining on both sides on the inside so that it doesn't like ride up and down your waist. And essentially, you put it on around your waist and put it where you want it, you know, higher up on your waist, lower on your hips, you close it where it's comfortable. And then you're able to utilize all the different pockets and places that it has for things. So you can use this whether you're left-handed, whether you're right-handed, you can put a pocket knife in here, a pepper spray. You actually can put two pistols, two firearms, um, two guns, two straps, two heats, whatever you want to call it. Um, in here, I'm right-handed, so mine was always like you know on the right side, but I carried mine more center because that's what was comfortable for me, and that allowed me to not print as much. If you're not familiar with the term print, it basically means where you can see something. So like how you can see my finger, this is printing. If you can see a portion of your gun, it's called printing and it's not what you want you want your gun completely concealed where you can't tell that's a gun um so this i wore for a very long time i wore this pretty much the whole year um and i did wear sky nine without the holster just with her herself in this first pocket right here so this is how she looked when i wore her all the time on my waist and this was more or less in the center because I was able to conceal her best right there. Now, um, I'll just keep going because if I don't, I'm gonna get all into the conversation about that gun. So this was my original holster. This is one of my favorite holsters. Like I said, these Kydex holsters on my body did not work well for me, but they work great for your purse. This on, that on body holster is from Can Can Concealment. I heard they're going out of business. I don't know how true that is. I will link their shop down below and link this holster down below. So um, I would definitely jump on it if you're interested, even if you're not positive you're gonna want it. I would measure yourself and go ahead and order it and the other one I'm gonna show you from Can Can Concealment because there is not another one out there like this. There are some that are similar, but the texture is not the same. The magnet that's in this firearm sleeve is not there. This thick material is not on other ones, as well as the silicone strip being on the top and bottom to help it from sliding. They're not in any other company. So if you're interested in this, go to Can Can Concealment site today and buy it. So this is the one that I got for my waist, but if you notice in the summertime where you wear skirts, dresses, or even date night, or um, just anywhere you need to go where you're not wearing like let's say shorts or jeans or something where you can lift your top if there's something where you need to get your pistol from another area you're gonna need another option so I have planned to wait until the summer to go ahead and order this but I heard um, I watch a channel her name is Stav I can't say her whole name properly but her name is Stav and she has a site called I mean a YouTube channel called she equips herself i heard her first mention this holster and that's why i ordered it a year ago and then recently i was watching her opinion on the bra holster that i'm going to show you guys um and she said that can can concealment was going out of business so instead of me waiting until next summer to purchase this i went ahead and purchased it now i did open and take a look at it but i wanted to show you guys how it looks so i'm going to show you how it comes packaged that's my receipt um, this is a good picture of what it looks like on the waist one that I just showed you. This holster, this is what it looks like on. So it's called the Hip Hugger Elite, and I'll also show you guys, they offer it for men. So they have the Sport Belt Hero, and it's the same concept for men. My husband actually uses that holster. He also was not comfortable with the Kydex holster on his body. So he does have this Sport Belt Hero, and I just showed you guys the actual Hip Hugger Elite. So there you can see their emblem, Can Can Concealment, and I will link that down below. So anyway, that's the one for the hip, but they also offer one for your thighs so if you're wearing a dress or a skirt and you're not wearing like an easy top you can pull up you need somewhere else to keep your gun on body 
I'm going to show you guys their thigh holster. Again, I heard the whole company is going out of business. So if you want any of these, get to the website, see the measurements, measure your thigh, measure your hip or your waist, and order your size. So this is the thigh holster. It's the same thing as the waist or hip holder, hugger. It's just for your actual thigh. So again, it has that silicone silicone strip at the top and the bottom we are in fall winter so I have not worn this yet um, I did try it on it does fit and you can wear it on either thigh whether you're right-handed or left-handed if you're wearing a flowy skirt or something that's not fitted they recommend you wear it on the thigh that you have the stronger hand so for me that would be the right thigh and I could wear the gun on the outside of my thigh um, if I'm wearing something more form-fitting or tighter, then you want to put it on your left thigh and you would actually put the gun on the inside. So the gun would physically be in between your legs. Again, I haven't worn it yet, so I can't promise that it's comfortable, but the videos that I have watched in the past where I knew I was going to be buying this before summer got here, I was pretty convinced that it would work for me and I would just, you know, get used to it that particular day that I want to wear a skirt. This wouldn't be an everyday holster. This would be a specialty holster. So like I said, dresses, um, skirts, things of that nature. So this is the thigh holster. It has a zipper pocket just like the waistband does. It has this pretty lace area which you can put your knife, your pepper spray, a tiny taser. Um, a lot of people put an extra magazine in here and then of course of course, you have the gun holster which this material is not the same as Kydex. It's not this hard on either of the holsters. It is, it is honestly not that hard but it is capable of you not pulling the trigger by accident. Now, if you take your finger and grab this area and pull real hard, you can pull the trigger. But just wearing this on your leg or on your waist, you're not gonna pull the trigger. I wore mine for a whole year, every day, Sky 9 was tucked every day in the hip hugger and I had no problems. It also has a magnet down here at the bottom so it helps keep it closed and help keep that trigger from being pulled. And then of course you have the rest of the eyelets. The thigh holster closes just like the waist holster with all the eyelets just like on most of our bras. So this is the second holster that I have. Um, but of course this is the third holster that I purchased because first I had the waist, then I purchased the bra, and then I purchased the thigh. So this is the thigh holster. And then I'm going to show you guys the bra holster. So it comes in, of course, you know, a, a bubble mailer and all of that. And then inside the bubble mailer was this kind of bubble packaging. And let me see if they have a, well, this one's perfect. It comes with three straps. And you actually can order an extra one if you need to that's even longer if you wear sports bras um i had never heard this concept i didn't even know that was an area that you could carry a gun let me see if there's a good picture on any of these um but it's called flashbang and essentially this is what your bra would look like those three circles in the middle of your bra are the three different places where the actual snap could be located and this is how you can wear it. You can wear it low and kind of at the bottom or under your bra. You can wear it custom or kind of in the middle, or you can wear it high. I thought you just kind of look at this, put it on your bra, decide where you like it and you're good to go. No, as you and I both know, your girls move throughout the day, your bra may shift throughout the day, your blouse or shirt or t-shirt or hoodie may fit different. So you may find that the first day or two you liked it one way but then once you wore another top you liked it another way so depending on how you like it and how your breast and your chest and your uh sternum and the top of your stomach how things are um and you do not need a six pack to wear a bra holster i am currently wearing a bra holster and if i didn't tell you you wouldn't know that i'm strapped so it works as far as concealment very comfortable but of course you do have to make sure you have a supportive bra they recommend wearing one that has an underwire um, in between the three straps they recommend that you switch the straps to fit your bra that you're wearing that day I myself wear the same exact bra every day um, it's not literally the same bra <laughs> but I have like 20 of this bra it is my favorite um, I wear a 36 D um, Victoria's Secret Body by Victoria Demi Cut Lightly Lined. That is the only bra I like. It is the only bra I buy. I wear them until the wire pops out, which takes years if you wash them correctly. Um, and then I just buy a new one. Or if I need a black one or a nude one for a certain outfit or whatever, I buy that color. But that's the only bra I wear. They do recommend that you wear a good underwire bra. They don't recommend a cheap, flimsy 
family dollar bra. Um, so if you do choose to buy this holster, you do want to make sure you do have a nice supportive bra. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys the actual holster on me. Don't judge my rolls. These leggings are high-waisted leggings, so they do come up very high. As always, I do have my pepper spray on, and this is the holster on me. I'm going to try not to show you guys too much boobage, but this is the actual holster on me. This is Stella. This is my new gun. I do not use Sky 9 at all anymore, and I'll talk about that in a few minutes. But this is Stella, and so I'm going to take the holster off so that you guys can actually see it. But essentially, it has a strap here. You have the gun here, and you would simply pull down and out in order to actually draw. Let me see if I can do it on camera without... Okay, so I just drew. This is what she looks like. As you see, I have perfect trigger, trigger control. My finger is not on the trigger. She is completely armed, fully loaded. So I'm gonna disarm her. I'm gonna remove the full magazine and I'm going to take the bullet out of the chamber. chamber. I'm gonna lock the slide back so that you guys can see. She is completely safe. She is completely unloaded. Again, this is the Smith & Wesson m &P Shield Plus. So, I'm gonna put her down and let me fix my bra <laughs> and take this holster off. Okay, get it out. All right, so this is what the holster looks like. It is a Kydex holster. This trigger is completely protected. You cannot shoot your boob off. You cannot <laughs> um, shoot through your bra with the gun in this holster. It will not fire while it's in this holster at all. This holster does take a couple of weeks to get to you. They have to make it based on your exact gun. So this gun was, excuse me, this holster was made for Stella. Um, Stella got her nickname from my bestie. It took me a couple days. I couldn't come up with any anything as cool as Sky Nine, and I didn't think it was gonna be nice for me to steal Sky Nine's name and give her to another gun. So I asked Bestie what she thought. We both love Stella Rose wine, and so we chose Stella. So anyway, this is what the other side looks like. If you notice, it's got all these different marks and grooves. That is specific to this gun. So you will order this specific to your gun, and if you buy a new gun, you'll need to buy a new holster. I ordered this in black because it was my first one and I was afraid with a cream and white top that you might be able to see it. So I ordered a black strap and a black um, holster. I am planning to order a purple one <laughs> because I love this thing. This is my ride or die. I thought this holster was bae when I started wanting to wear some of my more fitted shirts or clingy shirts it was not a go i was printing like nobody's business no matter what i did and i didn't like some of the other holster options out there this was the most comfortable for me i could take a nap in this i could lay down in this i could do anything in this holster but depending on the shirt i wore sometimes sky nine would show so i ordered this holster as soon as i ordered stella and i knew that i was going to want to carry in this every day this is my everyday carry and for some people that's not comfortable that's not feasible for them they only wear this with certain outfits you have to buy holsters and try them out on your body to see what's gonna work for you you can't buy based on what someone else has said someone else says so anyway the way that this works is this specific screw comes off and you can change it to the different straps whether it be the ones that come with a package or if you order extra ones I plan on ordering a purple print holster and a purple strap I don't know when but I know I'm gonna order it um, the way that this works is you just put the strap on and you literally just snap it on and it's completely tucked onto your bra. The different lengths of the straps are because of the area that is in the middle of your bra. Each person's bra is different in thickness right here um, or in width or just based on how you know busty you are. This area can be different and that's the reason why they have the different straps they send you. Initially you get three with your order and then they have one that's even longer um, in case you wear like a really thick like sports bra um, which one of the owners says that she wears the Victoria's Secret sports bras with the underwire and that's just her favorite go-to and she wears a bra holster. Um, so anyway, it's basically like a clamshell and you would think that it's not very um, 
supportive or protective because you're like, oh, just open it or come out. Okay, but you can't exactly open it and pull the gun out at the same time. So the way that it works, of course, is it's tucked underneath your bra. Your bra helps hold it in place in addition to the strap. The strap helps hold it when it's time for you to draw your weapon out. So when you draw your weapon out, you pull like in a down but out kind of motion to make the holster come from underneath the wire of your bra and allow that weapon to open. I mean to come out. Without this opening a little bit, your weapon cannot come out. So now that I've completely cleared Stella, you must always put it back in there with the butt first and then it goes in just like this. Now, if I hold this holster and try to draw the weapon, it's not gonna draw because this hand is holding the holster closed. But if I hold this, I'm able to draw the weapon. So that's the trick on how you get it out and of course, how you would get it back in. So again, this is what it looks like with Stella in there. Again, this is a Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9. And I do have her, oops. Oh, I thought I brought my other magazine over here that's empty. I didn't? Okay. Well, anyway, the magazine is not in the bottom, so you can see she's still completely safe. No one's going to get shot. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else about this. Hold on. Let me take a swig of water. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So, as you saw in the picture, there's different ways that you can wear it. Because of the way that Stella is shaped, I wear her in the high carry position because that's the most comfortable for me and the way that my ribs curve right there is best if the butt of the gun is centered. But she doesn't really sit in a high carry position if that makes sense. Like she almost sits kind of tilted and centered. Um, so again, you just have to play with the straps, you have to play with your bras, you have to play with wearing it and see what you love. But this is the um, second holster that I purchased and this is my absolute favorite. I've been wearing this nonstop since I got it. Let me see if I can tell you guys when I got it. So I ordered it on October, is this the day they shipped it or the day I ordered it? I don't think I ordered it that day. This is probably the day they shipped it. I got it somewhere in the 20s of October. So about a week or so before Halloween is when I got it. Um, and I've been wearing it ever since. Like I absolutely love this thing. It is hand washable. So you can wash it with the strap on it as well as wash the Kydex holster itself with just whatever your normal body soap is, is what they recommend. Um, then just air dry it and then you're able to wear it again. So again, I thought I needed black because I didn't want it to show through certain things. Um, it's $60 and then some of the prints that they have can be a little bit more like 65, 70. And then there's like a teddy material one that's supposed to be good for the summer if you sweat a lot in the boob area to keep it from like moving a lot or sliding but again you cannot shoot anything with this in you can't shoot your boob off you can't shoot yourself in your arm you can't do any of that while it's in here you would actually need to have the weapon drawn from the holster completely in order to actually engage the trigger um so that is my favorite holster is the actual flashbang holster um, I really like the concept of it. I, I think it was a, a wonderful idea for them to come up with that. And this has been out for some time. It's not something new. It's just new to me. Um, so now we'll talk about the guns really quickly. And where are we at? 22 minutes. We should be okay. So these two guns are completely different. Again, I bought Sky 9 because she was purple and it was my first gun. So of course, like a normal female would. I'm like, oh, I gotta have this. Hold on. Hey, babe. No, I called you on purpose because I was getting a couple of weird text messages that they changed the appointment to 315 and then to 430. So I was calling you to make sure everything was fine. But I figured you were probably on the table, so I didn't worry about it. Okay, no problem. Okay, I'm filming. All right, lay back. Okay, let me stop and start this so we don't... Okay. Just so I don't have to be paying attention with only like four minutes left to go. So anyway, I bought her because I'm a girly girl and purple's my favorite color. She was purple. I thought all guns are the same. Add to cart, right? That's what happened. Okay. So every time I went to shoot her, I noticed that no matter how many videos I watched, no matter how many hand positions I tried, I just continued to have a lot of problems doing this when I was shooting. And this is called recoil. This recoil motion, no matter what I did, I continued to have that problem. The other problem I had, and if you remember, she's completely unloaded. There is no bullets or ammunition in there. There's not even a magazine in here. Um, 
The other problem I was having is I felt like once I had gotten the red dot on my target and I was ready to shoot at the range, I noticed that I was having an issue with when I would pull the trigger and expect it to go off, it was not going off. So I would pull the trigger and I'd be waiting a while like this before I got to that click, as well as when I let it go, there's a long time for the reset. So in practicing at the range, shooting, drawing, um, pulling the trigger, you know, feeling the reset, all of that, I learned I don't like this. So when I say this, let me tell you what it is in case you don't know. I'm sure a lot of you gun gurus know, but it take it, you know, it took me some time to learn and realize what's going on. So anyway, this is called a hammer fire pistol. And what that means is when I pull the trigger, there is more than one thing that's happening inside of here before that actual bullet comes out. So when I'm expecting it to come out, it's not. It's taking a little bit longer. And when it does, I'm no longer completely ready. So I'm having the problem with the recoil kickback because one this is a very tiny gun but two the long trigger pull and the long reset it just wasn't working it just was not working I was not happy so I started researching other options I started looking at the MP shield I decided to go to the range and rent one so that I could shoot it that day and again she is clear there is no ammunition in there there is no magazine in here I decided to go to the range and shoot her and see how I liked her y'all I fell head over heel, like head over heels for her. So this is a pistol fire weapon. And what that means is as soon as you pull the trigger, the bullet is gone. There's no extra mechanism. There's no extra steps. There's nothing happening back here before the gun, excuse me, before the bullet comes out and the gun goes off. Um, I also like the difference in the trigger. If you can see here, let me try and hold them up. The Sky 9 is curved, whereas Stella is a straight flat faced trigger it makes it so much easier to shoot um so this one when you go to pull the trigger it's so much it's like instant and so is the reset like it's like an instant ouch it's like an instant reset so this one is a lot easier to shoot um, I really, really enjoyed that about her when I shot it at the range. Like I said, I rented one, so I did decide that this was going to be a better fit for me. I also shot her a lot better, meaning hitting the target, getting it where I wanted it. Um, it worked out a lot better. So I did go ahead and purchase this one. And just to kind of show you guys comparison, they are both nine millimeters. Um, but of course, you know, they have a lot of differences, but the Stella or the MMP Shield Plus is bigger, like this is longer than um, Sky 9. So I was a little bit worried about that as far as concealment. But if you take a really good look, you can see how much thinner this MMP Shield is, and that made a huge difference. Also, in the butt of the gun, if you can look and see how much thinner the black one is, the MMP Shield, it makes it so much more easier for me to conceal. Now, she is a little bit longer this way than Sky 9, but it's still so much easier to conceal her because of how slim she is. She has a much slimmer profile than the actual um, Sky 9. So, long story short, that's why Sky 9 got the boot. Um, just a couple different things. Also racking her, racking the slide is a lot harder on this one um, than it is on the MP shield. Also locking the slide to the rear where you pull it up and make it stay like that. This one is so much easier to do than Sky 9 is. Um, I don't have a holster for me to be able to wear Stella in my purse or put Stella in my purse. But again, I feel more safe when I have her own body. So I keep her. Um, inside of my bra holster and on my bra at all times when I'm dressed. And then at night, I don't use bag organizers in my purse, but if you can see here, this is a bag organizer. Stella sits right here every night. So I can easily reach her and handle situations should someone decide that they wanna try us in the middle of the night. So <laughs> I don't wanna make this video too long. That's really everything that I had. I just wanted to show you guys my holsters. I personally want to show you. I personally want to talk about why I don't stay, say Sky 9 anymore, why I say Stella. And I also want to talk about the difference and why I chose to get another gun. Um, and I shouldn't say another because I don't use this one at all. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with her, um, pawn her, sell her, whatever. I originally thought I might keep her and keep her like in a, you know, a secret compartment in the house just in case. But 
this trigger is a real problem for me I really don't like it and so I don't want this gun at all in my possession anymore so definitely not going to be keeping this one um but i just want to show you guys my holsters how i'm using them why i have what for what and then of course why there is a new lady in town so um hopefully that answers you guys' questions if not y'all know i'm an open book i don't mind sharing i can definitely you know send you pictures or you know talk about other details if you do have any details i know i posted a picture um yesterday or saturday because i don't know when i'm going to upload this saturday on instagram i got a text from flashbang holster saying that they were giving out free 25 dollars gift cards if you post um something showing one of their holsters and tag them in it and of course i had some pictures in my phone <laughs> from sending to my bestie and stuff and sending to my friends um and so i decided to go ahead and post my picture and tag them and get my 25 dollars gift card because i do want like i said i want to get one in purple with a purple strap y'all know i love my purple so anyway let me stop all this chitter chatter so that's everything that i have for you guys for this holster and gun video hopefully you like it and see you in the next one